Qutu, how big? Three or four story? It could be six story. A palm tree. You're a generous person, Ya Azad. A palm tree gets planted for this person in paradise. Every single time that you say, Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. What a beautiful narration. This is in Tirmizi with a good chain. That every time you say Subhanallah wa bihamdi, you get a palm tree in paradise. How easy is it, Yasin? Is it not easy? You can even say it at your age. Another narration mentions that whoever says, La ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu al-mulk, wa lahu al-hamd, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir, 100 times per day. Look at this hadith. 100 times per day. Do you know what you get for it? You get the equivalent, the reward equivalent to freeing 10 slaves. 10 slaves. You get a hundred good deeds recorded to your credit. You get a hundred sins blotted off your scroll. A hundred sins. And that will be a guard, a shield for you to that night from the devil. How, how easy. What a beautiful day that person will have. Shaitan will not be able to even come close to him. You know, we take these for granted. It's right in front of us. The door of good deeds is there. Accept it. Apply it. Because you want to be You want to be in the narration that mentions سَبَقَ الْمُفَرِّدُونَ قالوا يا رسول الله وما المفردون قال الذاكرين الله كثيرة والذاكرات The hadith mentions that المفردون has beaten us has went ahead of us They said who is المفردون He goes those who frequently celebrate the remembrance of Allah Ta'ala And you can see the eminence this hadith highlights of frequent remembrance of Allah Ta'ala and that on the day of resurrection he will be in front of many, many, many Muslims, many people, due to his frequent celebration of Allah Ta'ala in remembrance. And there are the ten qualities that we mentioned. You should ask yourself, have you got these ten qualities? Can I get these ten qualities? You want victory? This is victory. You want salvation? This is salvation. You want successfulness? This is successfulness. Not all the times you had, you had, you had, you had, you had. When you haven't even got these in your life, these qualities, have these before you even think of anything else. Especially in times of today, when the whole world seems to be fighting the Muslims, the true Muslims. The true Muslims. We should ask ourselves, what is Nasr? What is victory? What is real victory? And how can we be among the victorious, the successful? Well, we just mentioned it. To be a Muslim, a Mu'min, a Qanit, a Sadiq, a Sabir, a Khashir, a Mutasaddiq, a Sa'im, Hafidun lil Farj, and Dhaqirullah. This is a true believer. This is a true Muslim. And we all know the companions of the trench. We won't shall delay you too long. The, compa the companions, the story of the companions of the trench. When the huge trench was dug, and then a huge fire was lit inside it. What for? For whom? To, be, to do a big barbecue? Yes, for a big barbecue. But who was the barbecue? Those that said, La ilaha illallah. That were the barbecue. Until they reached to a lady who had a a baby in her arms. And she was hesitant, reluctant. I cannot jump in that fire. I'm going to hurt myself and a baby. She feared, and her mother always has remorse, feelings towards her child. No matter what her belief is, she will always have this. It's the thing, the nature of a lady that Allah has placed in her heart for her infant. But what happened then? When she was reluctant, look at this victory. Look at this successfulness. Look at this salvation. This is salvation, wallahi. The one, the Almighty, who made every creature speak, may that cradle boy speak. What did he say? 
O oh, mother, endure, be patient, persevere in this ordeal, for you are on the right path. In other words, mother, jump in this pit, this pit of salvation. Mother, jump in this pit of successfulness, for you are on the path of truth. Did she lose? Did she lose? Wallahi, if she did not jump in, she might have lost. Because it's not to be defeated by the enemy. Many people think, oh, we're defeated, we're defeated, we're defeated. Iraq's gone down, Afghanistan's gone down, Palestine's going down. You can never be defeated. Wallahi, you can never be defeated. If you have this victory in your heart. If you are defeated, that means you have left Islam. And this is the only time any human being can be defeated. When he denounces, La ilaha illallah. Oh mother, throw yourself in the fire. It's not fire, it's paradise. Throw yourself right now. Do not be reluctant to throw yourself in a pit of paradise. Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he got thrown off the catapult, he's flying in the air. He's flying in the air. A huge fire, day, burning for days. It's become black. Flying in the air. Did he start crying and yelling and shouting? When Jibril came and said, Yeah, Ibrahim, can I help you? He has helped me, you know. SubhanAllah, look at that faith. You know. Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. How beautiful is that? Sufficient for me is not you, but the Almighty Lord, and He is the best disposer of all affairs. You know, Wallahi, this is victory. Wallahi, this is salvation. Wallahi, this is successfulness. And the enemies knew this. They could not defeat him. They could not let it, they could not waver his faith. Because he knew the meaning of La ilaha illallah. The lady, Al Hamadiyya, the famous lady who committed adultery. Even though that the Almighty Lord concealed her adultery and no one found out of her adultery, she insisted confessing her sin and placing herself before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, pleading with him, pleading with him to purify her through stoning. Why? She wanted to sacrifice herself for the Almighty Lord and to undergo a repentance so pure it would have sufficed Allah's forgiveness to 70 of the people of Medina. And the seven new people of Medina were companion 